Hello everybody! I am Brett Dupree from Sir Dupree Let's Play on YouTube. You can see me and my 10 subscribers there. I'm doing an unboxing video today of Marvel United. I got the full thing today. And so I'm doing an unboxing video, which should be interesting. I've never done one of these before, so I don't even know how they look like. But first, we will start with the boring one. Oh man, this box is hard to open. I mean, I guess. That's what happens when they're brand new. Ooh. Free content. Wow, I should check this out. Um, hey brother, how you doing? So here's the instruction manual. That's always nice. Comes with all these nice little tokens for playing the game. I mean, that's what these are for, for playing. You know, you want to play these awesome games. So this is the cool part of the game. Has these cool little locations to them. Each location has a positive thing. Uh, what happens when you defeat the area there? It's pretty fun, pretty fun. But there's also villains. So these are the villain cards right here. So, but you don't want to see cards. I mean, what's the fun of cards? I don't know. I don't know at all. But it comes with a bunch of cards. All of them come with cards. But I know what you're here for. What I bought this for, which is the minis. We'll start with the most boring one. The Wasp. Look at that. It's a pretty little mini. Oh, I got to know where the camera is. Come on. Can you focus? Guess not. It's a pretty little mini. Um, it's weird how it has her butt in the air. She probably doesn't do that often. But I like that little dice that's right there. That is freaking adorable. Next up is Black Widow. Looking chibi and cute. A little chunky. But, you know, you do you, Black Widow. Looking all mean. Nice little mini. I look forward to seeing how my friend Carrie is going to paint that one. Uh, she's going to do my painting for it. We talked about this when we got it. When I decided to get this. I think it was $190. Last year I just went crazy with minis. And this is one of them. Of course there's Iron Man. Tony Stark packing on the pounds. But uh, I like the detail. It's actually pretty neat. For how much money you spend. It's actually not that bad. I mean it's like what a dollar per mini. Or two dollars per mini. <laughs> this is Captain America. He actually looks more like the Captain uh, US agent. That's on... Um, Captain America went to soldier right now. But it is pretty cool. Look at that guy. Yeah, I probably should uh, stand a little bit so you can look at him. Uh, this is my first time learning, learning. Here's Hulk. Looking all hulked out and mean. I like how the um, bottom also has stuff on it. So it's not just plain. He looks really angry. Grr, I'm the Hulk. Hulk smash. And there we go. Uh, next up is Captain Marvel. They went with the comic, because this is based off the comic book and not the MCU. Uh, this is the comic book version of Captain Marvel. Not my favorite character, but at least they got the butt crease, which is just really weird. I don't know. Let's see Captain America. Does he have a butt crease? No. Iron Man, butt crease? No. Mar oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Um, Black Widow has a butt crease. Uh, Watts doesn't. Uh, neither does Ant-Man. So I guess some just get butt creases, some don't. Probably depends on the women, if they're women or not. I like that one. I think it's cute how he's on that little, uh, it's not like a, a penny. Or, uh, actually it's more of a quarter. But no, look how cool that is. Yeah, I like it. And then here comes the villains. We got Red Skull. Looking all Red Skully. We got Taskmaster. Which kind of makes me wonder why Taskmaster was one they chose. Probably because of the Black Widow movie. But he's not one of the biggest villains. Uh, his power is he gets to... Um, oh, I'm happy Calum's laughing at the butt creases. See, he doesn't have a butt crease. But uh, one cool part, you know, Taskmaster's power is like... He could read everything that you do. But it's not really the biggest Marvel villain. And of course, you have Ultron! Look at all ultron -y. Look at him. I'm angry. I'm ultron Grr. Yeah. Gotta like him. Uh, he was in the movie Age of Ultron, which wasn't a good 
Ultron version, but you know, it was fun. So that is what you get in the base game. If you go out to, I believe this is actually at Walmart, that's what you'll get. But if you're like me and addicted to Kickstarters, I'm trying to put this off to the side here. Ah. If you're like me and addicted to Kickstarter, you get all the extra things. So first, we'll start with one of the lamest, of course, which is Thor. I am not a fan of Thor. I mean, I like Thor in the movies, he's fun. But Thor in the comic books, I always thought he was kind of lame. Uh, but, you know, has its own tales, uh, own rule book, which is always nice. Who cares about rules? Own little things, but who cares about that? And I'm going to try to get through this as fast as I can, because so you don't want to see me do downtime. But also has this nice little locations. Ah, let's open that up. Which is cool. One thing I do like about Thor... Um, the locations are cool, like the Rainbow Road or Rainbow Bridge. Rainbow Road, like this is Mario Kart. Um, yeah, I think it's pretty... Uh, Jack Kirby is the one who created Thor, and um, he's always just awesome at... So, of course, Thor, everyone's favorite. Look at him. Giant hammer. He's worthy. Looks nice-looking mini, if I do say so myself. And then, of course, you have... Is this Sith or Valkyrie? Oh, this is Valkyrie! Poor Lady Sith! She After she's in one movie, she's just forgotten. So this is Valkyrie. Looking more... I can't tell. Um, I guess when K Carrie paints it, I hope she paints her black. Because she deserves to be, just like in the MCU. But I believe she is white in that one. But who isn't? Come on. Focus. Oh, well, anyway. It has Korg, which is sort of disappointing. I mean, yeah, he's big in, like, the movies, but he's Planet Hulk. That's what he's known for. So he's not really known for Thor, but sometimes let the movies fit in. But it would be nice if it had one of the Warrior 3s. But this is one that really got me excited. Um, Beta Ray freaking Bill. Now, I never actually read a comic with Beta Ray Bill, but Horse Face Thor? How can you not be excited about that? Horse Face Thor. Thor. Also, no butt crease. Oh, I forgot to check if, um, my butt crease theory. Oh, no. Valkyrie, no butt crease. And, you know who the villain is. If it wasn't him, everyone would be upset. Ah. Which, of course, is Loki. Look how cute he is. Little Loki with his improbable helmet. I can't believe they made that helmet look good in the Marvel movies. I thought they would change it. But, no, he looks pretty cool. Villains are just different colors. All right, let's put this over here. Next up, um, we should do Gar. Ah, oh, let's do the the Kickstarter exclusives. No one cares about the Kickstarter exclusives. All right, we have Yondu. You got him. This guy you can only get off the Kickstarter. Uh, I'm Mary Poppins, y'all. Yondu. There he is with his little whistly thing. Look how cool that is. Nice little detail on that. Isn't that pretty? Look at Yondu. Mary Poppins, y'all! Yeah, of course. I think everyone who's done an uh, unboxing video has probably made that joke. I'm known for being clever and never doing jokes that other people have done before. And of course, everyone's favorite egg in Guardians of the Galaxy 2, even though apparently he's not going to be in the third one, or he hasn't been cast yet. I can't tell with social media. Adam Warlock! Uh, another character I know more about than what I've read. I don't know if I've ever actually read an Adam Warlock. I mostly read comic books in the 90s, uh, about 99, I think that's when my friend Mike and Carrie start getting comic books, and then I'm after college, I, when I couldn't read theirs anymore, and... I kind of had a job. I started buying them. If you want me to, I can do that one next. I haven't opened it yet. The knitting game also got unraveled because Carrie, who is my, one of my best friends, told me about it, so I bought it for my girlfriend, Carrie. Luckily, they spelled one is a C, one is a K, so you can always tell them apart what I'm talking about. So, of course, we'll go with Black Panther next. Ah, uh, 
has its own little things. It has their own little rules, which is fun. So, of course, we got to look at Wakanda. Oh, man, putting these together is going back together is going to be annoying. But, what else? Things you do for friends. Carrie wanted an unboxing video. I'll give her an unboxing video, even if it makes a mess that I'm going to have to clean up later. All right, there's Golden City. There's the Great Mound. I have to read these backwards. Uh, yeah, there's the place with the gorilla people. Um, yeah. Shiri's place. So a nice little place. Killmonger is the enemy. So who do we have here? We have the Winter Soldier. Again, this is by uh, movies. Even though it's based off the comic books, I don't remember Winter Soldier being that big in Black Panther. That is one of the comic books I got for a while. Of course, Shuri, I don't believe, was in that either. It was a lot of Kachala and T'Challa. Ah, I forgot his name. But, like, the father came back. Mephesto was there. It's a really weird comic book. It actually makes me wish Mephesto was the villain because that's the Black Panther I know. Did you know that Black Panther was created either six months before or six months after the Black Panther Party got its name? So they really have nothing to do with each other? Um, basically speaking, it was just happens to be both coming up with the name Panther. There's Killmonger looking all Killmongery, not very Michael B. Jordan y. Uh, oh, yeah, I forgot to check. Does Cherie have a butt crease? No, nope, no butt crease for Cherie. All right, that's nice of them. Uh, let's go with the Guardians of the Galaxy next. Everybody likes the Guardians of the Galaxy, especially if you like old timey music. Cause man, there's a lot of old timey music in the Guardians of the Galaxy. Of course, there's the rule book, pretty art. Um, why don't I put these on top of the? Uh, come chaos for some reason. Do, 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 do. Dude. Oh shoot, that's Groove Rhythms in the Heart. That is the wrong song. Um, sheesh, I just watched um, Infinity uh, War and Endgame. So there's the ship. Um, nowhere. Looking all nice. Kandar. Ooh. Morag. Yeah. The Collector's Museum. And Kill Him, which I've never heard of. Uh, the villain in this one. See, I never, uh, Guard no one knew who Guardians of the Galaxy was. So, of course, we have, I believe that is Gamora. All right, she is. With, oh, she has a butt crease. See, look at that butt. Shake it, shake it, Gamora. Shake it, shake it, shake it. Women get butt creases. But she looks pretty cool. Of course, I am Groot. Looking nothing like Vin Diesel. Who plays them in the in the movies? No butt crease, but pretty cool. Of course, has to have Rocket. Everyone loves Rocket Raccoon. Rocket, of course, no butt crease, but everyone likes Rocket. Ah, right, where he goes? I like how Maddie looks. Ah, I'm Rocket. Yeah, can't. I know. I wish it now focus. Ah, whatever. Maybe I have to get closer. And of course, the last one being Quill. Look at Chris Pratt. He doesn't have crit, Chris Pratt's six-pack abs, that's for sure. Or a butt crease. But, you know, my bad has his face. Nice, you know, it's a nice little minis. And of course, Ronan the Accuser. Not the best villain, but again, not the worst. Uh... Like, apparently he's huge in the comics. I don't really know them. I mean, they say this is all comic book based, but it's obviously uh, based a lot on uh, the movies because that's what's popular. Now we're doing one that I'm really excited about. Because I like Spider-Man. And so, the Senator, freaking Sinister, Sinister Six. They have their own ones, uh, their own little thing. With special rules, I'm excited about this one. I really want to take on the Sinister Six. Well, all, a lot of my favorites. Spider-Man was, still is my favorite comic book character. I freaking love Spider-Man. And has a lot of my favorites. 
such as Sandman. Gotta love me some Sandman. Look how angry he is. Really cool character. Was actually done pretty well in Spider-Man 3. Uh, the Vulture. They went more with the comp. This is more of the uh, t movie Vulture. The comic book Vulture is an old guy who, uh, really old, like 80 year old villain with vulture wings. Mysterio. Quite possibly the most inspirational, not inspirational, but uh, unique villain. It, he is a movie uh, special effects artist who uses his evil special effects to cause crime. It was cool in the movie, but not as cool. Here's Electro looking nothing like Jamie Foxx, which is probably for the best with his big head. Oh, he kind of, he doesn't have a butt crease, but he does have a nice butt. So, at least Electro has a nice butt. You know, what's kind of weird is black people just tend to have uh, lightning powers. Learned a lot about that last week, turns out. It's just happenstance of rights. Kept on creating the character, losing rights, and just naming him something else. And then just became a trope. And of course, one of my favorites, Doc Ock. Generally the mastermind of the Sinister Six. If you can look at that, look at that. That is a cool looking mini, if I say so myself. Looking forward to Carrie painting that one. And then, probably, one of the more interesting heroes is uh, Craven the Hunter. I never really was a big fan of him. But apparently uh, um, his last hunt, Craven's last hunt, is one of the best comic book of all time. I've never actually read it. I probably should someday. Where he defeats Spider-Man and then puts on Spider-Man's costume to prove that he can be a better Spider-Man than Spider-Man. Which is not hard because Spider-Man kind of sucks at being Spider-Man. But that's actually the point of Spider-Man is you can be a superhero and mess up a lot. It's one thing I like about Spider-Man. He still goes. So we're going to do the Infinity Gauntlet. This is another big thing you can do with its own rules. Thanos locations. So look at those. Yep, this is where he tries to get the Infin Infinity Gauntlet to destroy half the universe. In the original comic book story, uh, the Inf he did it because he wanted to have um, get with uh, the embodiment of death, who's a female in the Marvel Universe. Oh, I gotta be careful with this one. And he, he fell in love with death, and so that's the reason why he got the Infinity Gauntlet, because he wanted to prove the death that he could kill half the people. And then death fell in love with Deadpool, and that's why Deadpool can't die. So this is Proxima Midnight, who I barely know who she is. Um, no idea. No one's going to be Proxima Midnight. Um, this is Black Dwarf. And the only reason why I know these people's names is because they're on the box. I, I didn't read this one. With the Infinity Gauntlet, I have no idea who these people are until the movies. Even after the movies, I had no idea who they are. Oh, except for Ebony Ma, is that his name? Yeah, because they actually say his name multiple times. Look at him. He actually looks pretty neat. Not the biggest fan of Ebony Ma, but he, he is. I like the fact he was the only person in Endgame and in Infinity War, the villains, who had any personality. The other guys are just, oh, I am evil. I am a brute. That's not fun. That's one thing I don't... They all wear black and look the same. At least Ebony Ma. So that's actually a character I like because he's different. And Thanos. I like how they made him different the Mad Titan. Even though I kind of wish they kept the story. He reminds me of... um, Actually, uh, a character... Fisto! Gosh, he man was kind of weird. Fisto. He had a fist and went like this. That's what that reminded me of. Oh, man. <sighs> yeah, I guess I was a kid, but normally He-Man was kind of different to you. But it also has this cool little, wait, uh, I am, and you can't snap. And then it has all these cute little gems that you put in, like that, you know. And apparently, my guess is you're trying to stop them from doing that, collecting all the gems. 
you know, it seems fun. I'm looking forward to that one. Ah, I am, you think I'm about halfway done. I am about halfway done. There are so many of these. This is super fun. I also got the mat, but I left it over there. I'm excited. All right. Saving the best for second to last. Because this is Spider-Man. Look at that. I'm so excited for this one. Oh, it comes with cell phones. What Spider-Man is known for. Cell phones. Don't know why it comes with cell phones. It should come with um, cameras, I think. I would think. That would be my thing. But, of course... Um, come on. Try to get this off. We have the Brooklyn Bridge. Eh? That's where Mary Jane died. Not Mary Jane. Well, in the cartoon, Mary Jane falls through a portal in the comic books um, when Stacy dies. Daily Bugle. You have to have that one. Osborne Laboratory, where in the movies he gets his power, so everything has to be connected. Oscorp. You have to have Oscorp. Queens. You have to have Queens. Motown High. You have to have Motown High. Alright, first we're going to start with the one that's most surprising, Spider-Ham. I have no idea why he's in it. Well, I know why I get people to want it. But I don't know why he's in this box. They could have had a um, Black Cat, maybe? Or some other, you know, it's cute and fun. I actually had Spider-Ham as a kid. I don't know how much that one would have been worth if I kept it. But I remember my grandparents took me to a... Uh, comic book shop with my uncle who's like seven years older than me and I was like "Ooh, I want to get Spider-Ham because I thought that was funny this is Miles Morales who Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse is one of the best movies ever and that really made my Miles Morales one of my favorite and no butt crease I forgot oh we have a female and look at the butt Spider-Gwen is packing a butt crease so one thing you gotta know is comic books are kind of sexist. And, yeah, because you can see your boobs. Because they have to wear the form-fitting. But Spider-Gwen, it's a character I don't know anything about, really, other than that she exists. I think she was made during Secret War. And that thing. Uh, but that was way after I stopped. I stopped getting comics around Civil War because I was getting, I just got finished with House of M. Of course, that's Spider-Man. Look how cool he is. Ooh, almost wish they had multiple Spider-Man so Carrie can paint them um, red, white, and blue. Red, I mean red, blue, and white. Oh, are those those colors? I don't know why I'm... Yeah, red, white, and blue. Generally, but with white highlights. But also can paint them black because of Venom, a symbiote Spider-Man. And of course, the villain is the Green Goblin. Who killed Gwen Stacy. It's really funny because uh, the Green Goblin died in like the 70s before I was born in the comic books. And I didn't even know who he was. So when I was watching the 1990s Spider-Man cartoon, I thought that was the Hobgoblin. And they're like, the Green Goblin? Is he a ripoff of the Hobgoblin? What a dumb name, Green Goblin. Little do I know Green Goblin was... The main villain. Alright. This one might be the most exciting. So this is the super box with all the Kickstarter exclusives. Uh, <laughs> this is the reason why you buy this off Kickstarter. <laughs> to get more minis than you can shake a stick at. There are all the cards down here. Yeah. That, everything else. Alright. There are two trays in here. Get the box out just in case I can't. All right, I'm gonna share with you one I'm most excited about very much. I'm a fan of what's called the West Coast Avengers. That's a very fun comic, and that's when I first learned a Squirrel Girl, one of the most silly comic book characters of all time. But then they wrote her to be the most powerful, pretty much the most powerful superhero in the Marvel universe. She's taken out Thanos. Uh, she's taken out Galactus all by herself. This is Doctor Strange. Apparently his movie wasn't good enough. 
for him to get his own box. Which kind of sucks because that means there's no Wong. This is Vision. You can tell it's Vision because he's kind of phasing through a wall. There he is. There he is. Looking all good and Vision-y. Alright, we can't really tell. Squirrel Girl kind of has a butt crease. Alright, Scarlet Witch. Looking all Scarlet Witchy. I like how she and WandaVision got all comic book accurate. That was super fun. That was a fun show. Um, yeah, so the last comic book I got was House of M, where she said no more mutants. I remember reading the Fallout. I'm like, I'm done. Especially with one more day coming. I did not want them to bring back at me. Quicksilver, also known as Ralph Boner, if you watched um, WandaVision. That was kind of crappy how they did that. Um, because I really wanted mutants in the MCU, and that would have been fun. Okoye, a character that got super popular due to the movies, which is awesome. I didn't really know Okoye too well. Uh, the comics I read with Black Panther, they were there, but they weren't very prominent. It was mostly F Mephisto and the old Black Panther and new Black Panther. He's like one of those guys when you're a kid and the kid wants to be cool. No. Is that Cordius Glaive's girlfriend? This is Hawkeye. Um. Oh no, that's Okoye from um, Black Panther, Carrie. Uh, the Black Panther cartoon or the movie. Yeah, look at him. He has that. When I was a, when I was really young, that's what the cool cool kids got is that little thing up there. It looks really silly. This is War Machine. I first learned of War Machine in Spider Girl. That was a fun comic book I read. Uh, there was this comic book series called M2, which was the first time, one of the times they tried to modernize it. And only one who survived more than 12 episodes, 12 issues, was uh, Squirrel, Spider Girl, which was a really good comic by Tom DeFalco. Of course, here is Falcon, looking all badass. Um, this is very much off the movies. Looking like Anthony Mack with a big melon head. Look at that big melon head. I'm a melon. Um, Nick Fury. Uh, looking at Samuel L. Jackson, also known as the Ultimate Universe Nick Fury. Interesting tidbit about Nick Fury is that in the Ultimate Universe, they made him look like Samuel L. Jackson. They called him up and said, uh, can I, we do that? And he says, if you ever make a Nick Fury movie, I already uh, did Proximina. Oh, wait, he's coming. Just wait. All right, yeah, I already did Proximina Midnight. Hmm. I think the comments are coming a little late. All right. Oh, yeah. I was telling the... And then, yeah, pretty much if he could, they could make the likeness of him. Here's Miss Marvel. I read some of hers for fun. It's a great character. It's one of the more popular new characters. Her face looks kind of weird. And luckily, she's no butt crease, which is good because she's a teenager. And there's way too much sexualizing of teenagers. All right, here's everyone's favorite, uh, Corius Glaive. Everyone got it for this guy, because everyone loves Corius Glaive. I mean, look at him. I don't know why he was a special Kickstarter exclusive. Who cares about Corius Glaive? <laughs> Looking forward to the next one, because it's MODOK. I think it was, ah, oh, shoot, Mobile Organism dedicated to only killing or something like that. I have never read a Modoc cartoon uh, comic, but he is one of the funniest looking villains I have ever seen. In fact, his arms look bigger as a mini. Of course, here's Kingpin, one of my favorite villains. He's always been a, a badass. I've always liked to Kingpin. Uh, Bullseye, another one of my favorites. So excited to use him someday. Look at him. Bullseye. 
It's actually my favorite part of the Daredevil movie, but I just always liked Bullseye when I read him in the comics. His power is, well, he just, he's so trained in fighting, he never misses. Uh, the Rhino with uh, shoulder guards. The Rhino looks like he should be in Blood Bowl, actually, uh, with his shoulder guards. I don't know why they gave him shoulder guards. He doesn't need shoulder guards, he's invulnerable. <sighs> Ridiculous. Baron Zemo! I love Baron Zemo because he was in one of my favorite uh, comic books, Thunderbolts. So I was excited to see him with his sword. I wonder if he'll get a sword in uh, the new movie show. Mm. This King? Let's see. Yep. King the Conqueror! Oh, um, okay, he's not really here. There we go. If I put it in front of my face, it does it better. So this is King the Conqueror. He's from like the year 3000 or something like that. Coming back to take over the earth. Here is... This is Carnage, right? Yep. Here is... Put it in front of my face. So it zoom. There. I wish I just... Ooh, there we go. Wish I discovered that sooner. But here's Carnage. Looking all amazing. I never understood the appeal of Carnage. Because he's just... What if Venom was a murderer? I don't know. People like Edgy. Here's Evil Venom. You'll see why I call him Evil Venom. But he looks really, really badass. <laughs> Look at that. That is a cool looking Venom. So this is what Venom looks like as an evil person. Here is Hella, A character you probably only know because of the movies. At least that's how I only know her as. I like how ridiculous her helmet is. That's even more ridiculous than in the movies. But that's super fun. And Dormammu! I've come to bargain. I wish in Doctor Strange this is what Dormammu looked like. Because he has a freaking hell, uh, face of fire. Alright. See, isn't this fun? Because there's another tray. I have even more to go. And then I'm almost done. Uh, flip this over just in case I don't know who they are. Oh, sweet. This Iron Fist. Uh, kind of a problematic character. I wish they switched him to a uh, Asian person. Because he's pretty much just another white savior. You know, the white guy goes to the Asian place and does it better than the Asians. Like Doctor Strange. I mean, why not? You already have Doctor Strange and Tony Stark. You really need... It's just a third person. And why do they get some white guy who can't even do martial arts? The whole point is he's supposed to be one of the best at martial arts. I didn't even watch it. Here's Elektra. One of my favorite characters, actually. I always liked her. No butt crease, which is good, because Elektra should not have a butt crease. Terrible movie. Terrible movie. I'll never forgive Jennifer Gardner for that movie. There's Daredevil, the master of the hallway scenes, Man Without Fear, another one of my favorites growing up. I really like guys in suits that look like Spider-Man, I think, as a kid. Ah, uh, Luke Cage. I always like Luke Cage because he reminded me of my dad. My dad's a big buff black guy. Luke Cage is a big buff black guy. Look how big buff he is. It looks so mean. I'm Nick. I'm Luke Cage. I'm angry, girl. All right, I think this is, ah, um, oh shoot, I don't know why I'm stopping on her name. I want to remember it. She was on Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Um, shoot, I know I know who this is. Um, uh, Mockingbird, right? Damn it, it's Jessica Jones. <sighs> All right, well, she has a butt crease, so. She looks like nothing. This is a regular looking person. <laughs> I don't know why they gave Punisher a bazooka. But there's Punisher with his signature bazooka. Because that's what Punisher is known for. A bazooka. You're going to really have to paint that skull right. If I ever do this again. Now I know to put it in front of my face. Alright here's Mockingbird. Mocking J right. Mockingbird, yeah. She was on Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. That was a fun character. Um, I know nothing about her comic book-wise. 
All right, here is Jennifer Carpenter. Do her name? Also known as Spider Woman. Also known as Butt Crease Woman. Uh, so yeah, she's an agent of Shield. She wasn't bit by a spider. She was made chemically. She doesn't really have Spider Man's powers. Depends on it. Um, I believe this is Shang Chi. Yeah, Shang Chi. I'm interested in his movie. That should be fun. He is the greatest martial artist in the world, but doesn't have an iron fist. All right, here's another reason why I'm super excited for this one. If you know that, that's Miguel O'Hara, also known as Spider-Man 2099. You don't understand how much I love Spider-Man 2099. I actually got all those 2099. Got them on eBay and read them all. They're super fun. I'm always happy. Every time I play a Spider-Man game, you can have alternate costumes. I always pick Spider-Man 2099. When I said evil Venom, that's why. Here's good Venom, looking just as scary, but blue. Who is this? Oh, Black Cat! This is Black Cat! She has bad luck powers, so you better stay away from her. And she also has a nice butt. <laughs> God, my books are so sexist. She's... Gotta make sure the women have bots and they're doing sexy poses, but guys can look badass. Ah, who is this? Um, I can't tell. America Chavez. Okay, I barely, I don't really know America Chavez. I know she's one of the Young Avengers. Which is one of the cool things about Falcon and the Winter Soldier. How they introduce the fifth member. And apparently she's going to be... In the uh, 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 the new uh, Do uh, St Doctor Strange movie, so we're going to get a Young Avengers movies. There are now five of them right now in the MCU. So this mo this is a Moon Knight. Oh, this is She Hulk. It's hard to tell because she's blue and not green. Of course, she has a butt crease, but She Hulk is also known for showing her cleavage because that's all she does. She's the cousin of the Hulk needing a blood transfusion to survive. She's going to get her own TV show. As is, here's Oscar Isaac, also known as Moon Knight. He's going to play Oscar Isaac. I always liked Moon Knight, but I don't really know much about him. I only saw him in this um, Marvel Knights comic book, which was just trying to create a dark Avengers type team with Punisher, Daredevil, Moon Knight, and a couple others. Here's Blade, looking all Wesley Snipes. He originally had a fro. I like his, um, is that a goatee? Yeah, he does have a goatee. Ah, fools always try to be ice skating uphill. Am I right? Am I right? All right, here is Ghost Rider. This looks like, um, the Andre Reyes Ghost Rider rather than the other Ghost Rider. Can't really tell. It was a cool looking Ghost Rider. That's Ghost Riders go. Not really one of my favorite comp, um, character. I know I'm starting to run out of energy for this. So many. Here is Nova, another character I know little about, other than apparently he's Hispanic. But oh, here's a butt crease. We finally got a male butt crease. You can barely see it. About freaking time we get a male butt crease. Females need to look at uh, butt creases too. He looks really happy, which is weird. Everyone else looks so angry. No one looks happy. Probably because he got a butt crease. Um, oh, this is uh, Nebula. You could probably tell why I couldn't figure that out by looking at her. I mean, her butt doesn't even have a crease. How am I supposed to know that's a female? But, yeah, that's Nebula. I always liked Karen Gilliam ever since she was on Doctor Who. Fun character. Oh, this has to be Mantis. There's Mantis. Um, apparently Mantis and Drax are very popular with autistic people because they feel like they're on the spectrum and they see themselves in that. Isn't that kind of cool? Speaking of autism, here's Drax. Um, Dave Batista looking good. And last and not least, everyone's favorite, Howard the Duck. I loved that movie as a kid, but it apparently is not that good. And there you have it, folks. That is my 
unboxing video. First and maybe last, most likely last. I don't know if I'll ever do that again. But there you go. Hope you're happy, Carrie. Hope you enjoyed that. Whew! That is a lot of minis. Now we have to put them back in their boxes. Not looking forward to that. But I am super excited to play this game. It looks fun enough and so many minis. And I look forward to seeing how my friend paints them all. Hope you have an amazing day.